Hey all, welcome to another little video here. Something different again this time. As you can see, I've got these three little Highlander figures, the black watch to be exact, from uh, Waterloo, the officer. And this guy is playing the bagpipes. Let's see, where are they? If I can show you how they fit there. I still have to tidy that up a bit because it's not it's not fitting properly. Uh, as you can see, these are resin figures. That's the third one. They're from uh, a, a guy called uh, Vladimir Danilov, I think. And I believe uh, they were released by Castle Miniatures. And they've been sitting around for a while, so I thought I'd... Uh, Give them a whirl. There are nice details on them, and uh, you know they look pretty spectacular. They're going to be a a very good painting project. Not to mention that uh, there's a good bit of assembly. You'll see there. I'd already tried to fix one part, the part, the uh, pipes on, but realised that it wasn't going to be good enough so I took it off again. There's a little bit of super glue on there. And here's the other parts of the things that I've done with this kit are this is the uh, sergeant's pike and the well the original resin part is bent away into a well whatever shape that is it's bent into. So I've just cut a bit of brass rod off the appropriate length to uh, replace that should be the same length yeah and there's the uh, this is the base of the standard because the officer figure is holding this standard got his hand on the back of it there Goes on him here. Let's see if I can do this via the camera. Can I? So I'm looking around the camera. Well, you can s sort of see that. Okay, it's going to go like that. Then that other bit goes there. The resin uh, flagpole standard. It's um, well, it's just. I mean, I'm sure I could fiddle about with it and get it straightened and so on, but just easier to cut out a brass one. Use that. I've got a couple of uh, canteens. You can see. Let's see. See that? Is it going to focus? Nicely detailed, straps and everything pre-molded onto it. Um, backpacks. Like this. Nice details. These are supposed to be 54mm kits, but they're probably a bit big. Um, the only other thing perhaps at this point in time worth noting is this is the base that comes with the kit. Um, and then each figure has, for example, this guy. Each figure has a little slot on there. That's the officer. Oops. That's kind of out of shot. Let me just, let me just rearrange that a bit. So hopefully you can see it. Okay, and then the other two figures also have slots, but if I put them, if I were to put them on the base at this point, it would be very difficult to paint them. So what I've done, as you can see, I've done, used some green stuff 
and I've just pressed the figures into it um, so they stand on it and I've done that for all of them, all three of them and it could either leave them as individual figures or once I've finished painting them individually put them all on the uh, base um, here's an idea of what they're meant to look like that's the piper that's the sergeant with his pike and the sword and well that's the back of the officer that's really a view of the standard okay with the uh only son k mali pons etc it's got to be interesting there's all different ways you could approach that flag standard you could uh, print one off and stick it on or paint it as it is or print out a decal for it or yeah so anyway that's what i'm at at the moment um i'll probably just do one more little video of this when i've assembled all these figures and then um uh, that i'll do that video and then i'll probably do another video of me painting everything okay so that's what i'm up to at the moment see you in a minute Okay, just a quick update here. I've finished the assembly of all the figures. Um, I, um, they're not stuck to the bases, uh, although the bases are moulded to their feet, so they might fall over. But you can see these are very nice little figures. Uh, this guy here, this is the um, pike that he had with him. And I've just replaced that, oops. I've replaced that with a little brass rod. Oh, he's not gonna fall over. Because this is just too uh, twisted. And that's the bottom of the flag, flag pole, the standard. Oh, what a staff, whatever that's called. And again, I've cut this bit of brass rod to the right length. Uh, I drilled through his hand to put the um, brass rod on there. There's also, I think I mentioned uh, previously, some gaps. And what I've done, obviously, I've, uh, you know, tried to uh, reduce those by careful cutting. But you might also notice that in a few places I've begun to start filling them with uh, super glue where there's either a gap or a join that doesn't doesn't look quite right. That's that. Um, let's think, is there anything else to show you just now? Oops. Yeah, one of the straps is broken off here they come molded with the straps you can see there the little strap comes molded to the canteen uh, i still have to stick it down go through under there um so i'll have to replace that strap um turn this around Yep, so that's that little update. The next thing is, I think I probably will have to super glue these figures to the bases just for now. And then when I am um, working, get one of these, I'll probably be able to uh, mount them on these bases. Hopefully, anyway. And uh, for painting, for proper painting. Yeah. We've got plenty of those bases and uh, that'll be the majority of the work so i'll see you in a minute okay um back again i'm pretty sure this is going to be the last part of this uh, assembly part of the video of this uh, project here's um the little piper man it's a very nice looking little kit i've managed i hope to seal up um 
the little joint around his arm there. I've also added on a little bit of a mask and tip here because that just didn't look right. That hopefully when I paint over that mask and tip, it'll look like a uh, strap. We should have cleared that up before I uh, started painting it. You can also see that I've done uh, things like for each pipe that said there, pipe of the bagpipes, and on the top I've drilled all those out. A bit of added realism. That's the piper figure. Here's the sergeant figure. You can see with his uh, a brass rod for a, a pike staff. And again, I've added in a little bit of a mask and tape. It's one millimeter Tamiya mask and tape for the strap that uh, well, went missing somewhere, I think, when I was um, preparing everything. They do look good, these figures, don't they? Individually, they almost look like they've had a um, uh, highlight and sort of base shadow put in. So good is the undercut on a lot of the detail. But I haven't done anything like that. This is just straight out of the box, as it were. And here's the officer, and he's going to be holding the standard eventually. Okay, and this is another fine fellow. Sculpted by Vladimir Danilov. Okay, and just look at his face. Let's have a look. Don't need no hornet heads here. But for these guys, look at his hair and everything and the uh, um, headdress and plume. Okay. Um, I've filled quite a lot of holes and things with um, super glue. Here's the standard, I need to tidy this up a bit. But that's just a easy thing to do to tidy it. That's the flag stuff. That's the original base, just in case you want to see that for completeness. And there's the original uh, pike staff and flag, flag staff, I suppose. Now, uh, all bendy. We'll be cutting off these bits, that part, and the end of that. And there's a little piece on the end of that, which will be then sticking onto the brass bits. But I'll do that later. And you can see that for a painting guide, I'm going to be using this Hysterex um, set. Well, I've got other books and things as well, but I'm going to be using this as a sort of primary source. You can see there it gives this for the black watch and it gives the different uh, um, tartans and everything that uh, uh, would be in use. And it's very you know, good close up de detail of those different officer uh, regalia, soldiers of one kind or another, drummer, sergeant. Anyway, everything that I've got here, pretty much. There's no piper, but I'll paint him up the same as the drummer, maybe. Okay, so uh, that's where I've got to. Anyway, the next part of this project will be me starting to paint all these. And uh, yeah, okay, that'll be the next part. See you then. Bye.